What do you think of the President Tinubu's administration so far? The decisions he's made, um, what's policies. going on right now, the policies that we're hearing and seeing. <clears throat> in your view, what's 2024 looking like? What do you think? Well, um, again, I think that what we must understand, we, and this is important, and maybe that's part of the next, next work, uh, people are... Uh, expectant for results but I tell people that look one of the things that happens in our democracy is that transition takes place in the middle of the year mm. Mm. in the middle of the year <clears throat> so a new government comes in usually state and federal when the budget is halfway done to run a budget you did not prepare To bring in team members, some of whom have never worked in government, I must learn the culture of government. Mm -hmm. So one of the first things that happened to me when I was chief of staff to Governor Tinubu was that I saw letters, I saw files, I knew what to do, but I didn't know how to get it to Morayo. Mm. Because Morayo had an acronym. <laughs> so I must learn, so I used to write it and memorize it. My palm said could sit next to me. Minister to MOE, I say which one is that? Says Minister yeah, of Environment. <laughs> Minister to HCF, I say which one is that? <laughs> Honorable that. Commissioner for Finance. So I learned all of that. There's a language there and it has to be learned. So all of that is going on. And there's always a distance, as I say, between policies, mm. programs, and results. There's always a distance. So I, I've seen that you, you retired, yes, but I also <laughs> saw that you handled the training for the um, executive, newly appointed members of the executive in Lagos State <clears throat> uh, recently, where they had a two-day training and all of that. Have you retired into consultancy, <laughs> you know, mentorship, teaching? What exactly is it like? No, I've retired into retirement. Into <laughs> rest. <laughs> but, but, you know, true, true, true. it's an honor, really, to be invited from time to time, not to teach, but just to share experiences and also learn. Because government, whether we like it or not, and governance has changed. It changed between the time Ashwaju was governor in 1999 to when I became governor in 2007. Mm -hmm. To when Ambody became governor in 2015, to when so it continues to change. So th those are also things to learn for me. It helps me to keep a currency of what's what going happening? on. Just as the president has continued, presidency has also continued mm. to evolve from 1990 to today. Yeah. So it's an honor to to be in that space from time to time and to share my experience, and also to learn theirs. Okay. All right. Okay. Do you keep in touch with the former president, hmm. the Muhammad okay, okay, Buhari? Okay. I went to visit him in Dara. Oh, really? Oh, yes. How many days did you spend? What do you talk about after governors? When you yeah. meet? Two so old men, just Jesus. Uh, oh. Yeah, no. I'm not with him in the same. Ha, he's an old. How do you see the gray hair? I, <laughs> I went to visit him in Dara. Okay. And in fact, the same day I went to see him, I also saw President Tinumbu in the evening. Okay. So, and uh, he's good. He, he's farming. He exercises and uh, he gave me a good lunch. Wow. <laughs> oh, how, how are his cows? Well, I didn't go to the farm. Oh, okay. I went to so, the house. Yeah. So we have... On the day I went, I think that was market day in ah. Dara. I think that was a Tuesday or so. So he says on market days, he doesn't go to the farm. So that all of his people can go and sell oh, and nice. trade and go and do their work. Nice. Yeah, so we have some comments on social media. Bioku01 says, Good morning, all. I'm happy to see our BRF vibrant and relaxed, mm. having taken some time out of public service. I can tell you that public service is very challenging in Nigeria. I pray that the Almighty guide our leaders' rights. Great work you guys are doing. Um, I think I missed this, but Bill Kiss was saying something about um, your book. It, it would be good to. Hand that over to students, you know, so that they can read. I thought too. They're going to be a book launch. <laughs> there will be on the 8th of February, I believe. Oh, nice. 8th but of February. Politically exposed people are not expected there. Well, <laughs> they come at their own peril. <laughs> <laughs> so you have it there, and there'll be no national anthem. 
Well, <laughs> we'll see how that goes. <laughs> see how you collect money. They won't give you money for this, your book. But this is not about, this is, this is not necessarily like about what? making money. Yeah. It's about, as I said, Eating. provoking intellectual rigor mm. to serious developmental issues. So, I know that you always talk about Alaji Femi Okuno a lot. How is he? Is he well now? Alaji is fine. Right? I'm going to see him soon enough. He wrote the foreword. He was kind yeah. enough to. I put a lot of pressure on him, and um, so we had hoped that this would have been ready in the month of independence. That was what we planned, yeah. so that at the time when we were focused on independence and our development, these conversations should have been ignited. But I, 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 I am indebted to him hmm. uh, in many ways. 